Hello, today we're talking to you about the different types of full rest devices for both rails and wire ropes that we would use um, in the wind industry that we actually stock here at Scanware. Going into a little bit of detail on how these devices operate to make it clear to you, the end user, so you know what you're purchasing and what you're using. So first off, we're going to talk to you about this Hacker uh, rail slider. So the Hacker slider that I'm showing you here is not a gated slider, so it has to go onto a rail that has a gate. The slider itself doesn't open up. They do another model, which does open up so it can be put on the rail at any point on the rail or taken off. This system here needs a gate for entry and for exit, or an open end at the top and bottom for you to slide it on the bottom, slide it off the top when you get to the top. So the device itself, in question that we're talking about here, is the 0529.74 model number. So here, a couple of things about the device itself. So this here is both the attachment point and also this here is an elastomer to actually act as a shock absorber in the event of a fall. So the device itself has got a twisted opening here for the gate. So your hardest um, attachment point would go through here and sit inside here and that's always to release out the way. This device here then runs on the rail. So the rail then goes through, through here on this section here. And this device here then when it's up in the air it's out of the way, so it means you can ascend with your with the, um, the harness pulling the device up in the air. When you ascend, you kind of pull back, so it keeps the gate open whilst you ascend. But if you should fall, when you do fall, it jams against the rail and blocks your fall, and obviously the absorber here then kind of cushions that fall. So this is a hacker fall rest system designed for the hacker rail, which is uh, prevalent in many countries throughout the world. This next one here we've got is the Halo device. So this runs on a Halo rail itself. So here's the, the brand Halo. This is their Halo runner. So this itself, again, a couple of different components to talk about here. There's the, the snap hook here to attach to the harness end. You've got the shock pack webbing and just webbing absorber here to absorb any fall. And then the actual device itself which attaches to the rail. <coughs> this slides on a rail, much like other systems like Hacker would do. So the main thing here is the actual rail, the device itself opens up so you don't need a gate. So pressing this button here and this one here, you press these buttons and pop open the slider itself. The slider that goes over the rail, once it's over the rail, let go, let go of the ease, clicks back into place and won't open up. This here then can go up and down the rail as much as needed and can be taken off at any one point in time by again, simply pressing the top and bottom buttons and opening the device itself. Okay, when you're climbing, the caravan is up in this angle here, so the rail passes through here freely. And then obviously if you don't have a fall, when you do fall, it jams against the rail, blocks it against the rail, stops the rail, stops you falling, and the shock pack at the back here obviously arrests that fall, depending on the speed that you're traveling at the time. It's all in all, a great lightweight system from Halo, easily attaches to the rail and takes off the rail at any point in time. Moving on now to something different. So this is a, a cable system. So rather than a, a rail system, this is for a cable. This is a tough tug made in the USA. Comes from the USA. So a couple of things here. So again, so we've got the connector here, which connects to the, um, the harness itself, the attachment point of the harness. Then you have your webbing shock pack in the middle here. And then you have the device itself. So the device itself, as I say, it goes on a rail. You've got the markings here to say which way it's up. These pins here, remove and this allows you the ability to actually attach the device onto the rail itself so the device opens up you attach it with the rail in here you close it back into place again at this point this will be up in the air to allow the rail the wire to be passing through here and then one by one you put these pins back in place secure it Pin the back in place to secure it. When you're climbing, this is up in the air so the cable passes through freely. But again, when you fall, this drops down, clamps against the cable and the shock pack then stops the fall. So that is the Tough Tug wire fall arrester. We now have the Latchways ladder latch fall arrester system. So this is slightly unique uh, when you look at uh, cable operating systems compared to what we've discussed with the Tough Tug and the other ones we're gonna discuss in a moment. The latchway system is a patent system. <clears throat> it runs on a wire cable. You don't need to pull the cable out the supports. The cable is already fixed in place with the supports. 
but the device itself will pass the support without having to actually take the either the, <coughs> the um, slide off the off the off the rail or oh, sorry wire, or actually having to remove the wire out of its supports and cable guides. It passes over the cable guides smoothly. So attachment point here to the harness webbing obviously attaches then to the actual device itself, which then swivels to compensate the motion of the actual wear itself. And then when this is up in the air, this is in a climbing position. The slot here is then open for the cable to go through the actual slot itself, allowing you to climb or ascend freely. But when you then break, when you then fall, this breaks the fall and jams the system. So it jams it against the wire and again, arrests your fall. This device is opened up using a button at the back here, which you would then press in. You then use this side here, open the device itself and slide this against the rail. The rail then slots in place. You let go, it's fixed on the rail. You can then ascend and descend freely. At the same time, if you then fall, this will then break the fall, jam against the wire and break your fall. So this is the Latchways Lad Latch. The last, but by no means least, is the Skylotech Claw. So this Skylotech Claw device, again, it runs on a wire system rather than a rail system. So the device itself has got the carabiner attachment to the harness. It has the shock pack webbing here on the side, which obviously will open up in the event of a, a fall, break the fall. The device itself has got a safety catch. So when you're climbing, you're up in the air, but in order to attach it to the rail, you lift it up in the air, you release the pin at the side, which then allows you to lift it even higher up to allow you to put, the, put it onto the rail. You've heard it click into place then, which means it clicks onto the system itself. It won't fall off the system, allows you to climb freely within the rail it's on the wire itself. But obviously in the event of a fall, the carabiner goes down, and as you can see here, it jams the, rail, the wire against the actual outside casing, breaks the fall, stops the fall, should I say, and then the absorber breaks the fall gently. So Skylotech Claw is another wire operating system that we always stock.